to Basketball Down Under, and today, Kai Soto is in for one of his toughest games of the season yet. But before we get into that, we have some massive, massive news. BD Samba is here! You already know what's about to go down, the biggest event in basketball down under history, BD Samba. How cool is that? The plan for the month of December is to upload every single day. That's right, you're going to be seeing this beautiful head of yours every single day for the next month. But do not worry, my content will be the highest quality content it can possibly be. And to start that, after three years, I am finally getting a new camera and a microphone. So if you thought I looked good now, just wait till what happens when I get a brand new camera and a mic. God damn, it's gonna be absolutely unreal. We're getting some top quality equipment. And on top of that, we have some massive surprises in store for B December. But if there's anything in particular you wanna see, make sure you comment down below. I wanna cover everything you guys wanna hear. The goal is to smash 20K subs by the end of the year. So let's get it going. B December is here. I'm so hyped if you couldn't tell. It's going to be phenomenal. Let's go! So in saying all of that, we are looking at Kai Soto's next game, which is against the Cairns Taipans. Adelaide 36 is taking on the Cairns Taipans. Now, this is going to be one of Adelaide's toughest games of the season so far. Cairns just took a massive six-point win in overtime over the Sydney Kings, the best team in the league. And Cairns look ferocious. Their defense was amazing. They are coached really, really well, and they have some really good shooters on that squad. Regarding matchups for Kai, we're going to see Kai Soto on Keen. Kino Pinder. Kino Pinder is possibly the best Australian power forward in the NBL. Kai Soto's better, he's just not Australian. The Taipans have a very deep roster, including Majuk Dang, Sam Wattenberg, Kino Pinder, DJ Hogg, and Bold Quall. Those are some notable names that I mentioned that all have an influence on the way Kai plays because they're all big guys who will match up with Kai, and then there's Bob Quall, who's just one of the best defensive players in the league right now. But in saying that, Cairns have one of the biggest destructors in their own team. TJ McCall, not going to lie, he has some very great plays, but at the same time, he makes two good plays, and then he makes three bad plays. Yes, he's a good import because he's flashing and brings a bit of a crowd, but if you really look at him, and if you're an actual Cairns fan, not that I am, you'll notice that he's not actually that good of a player, and he's more of a hindrance for the Cairns type Cairns. They actually play better when he's not on the court. But if we swing things over to Adelaide's last game, they had a massive 14 point win over the Perth Wildcats, which I told you would be one of Kai's biggest games of the season. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see him do all that much, but he did get a fair amount of time on the court. But that is always a massive win to beat Perth in Perth. Not that many teams can do it, but if you can, it is awesome. And that means that the Adelaide 36ers are taking some serious momentum into their next game. Their imports have been playing well, Mitch McCarron's killing it, Daniel Johnson's always good, and Kai Soto's finding his feet very nicely, but I'm telling you, within the next couple games, he's going to go off seriously big time for at least 20 points. It's going to happen and I can feel it. It's coming very, very soon. So Kai and the 36ers are coming up against the Cairns type hands this week and that's actually a great matchup for Kai. He's the biggest guy on the court by four inches. The Cairns type hands biggest guy is Majuk Dan, who's about 6'11". Kai Soto's recording himself at 7 foot 3 but we all know he's a little bit taller than that even. So this upcoming game, he's got a very big size advantage. In saying that though, at the same time, Cairns look to really move the ball quickly and sprint and get the ball up the court. Well, that doesn't really favor a seven foot three guy in Kai, but nonetheless, he's a shot blocker. As long as he's clogging up that paint, that's what I want to see. I keep saying the same thing until it actually happens. I want to see Kai play at least 15 to 20 minutes and get those 10 points and five rebounds at least. I need double digits in scoring and I need him to secure those rebounds with a couple blocks too would be very, very nice. He's getting more comfortable, his fitness is getting up, he's starting to play more minutes, that it's just a matter of time till we see him absolutely explode. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and I'll catch you later.